all right you guys so before we get started if you're not already following me hit that follow button like share comment subscribe let's get into the story now you guys oliver stevens was a 13 year old boy from berkshire which is in england oliver was described as a very very loving kid he was outgoing but he did have autism so his parents said he did not make the best decisions now, one of those poor decisions was dating this girl by the name of Skylar. Now, Skylar was also 13, you guys, and her and Oliver's relationship was the farthest from the best. It's being said that one night, Oliver actually confronted Skylar at this party because he found out that Skylar was sending news to other guys. Now, it's being said that he really let her have it. He was yelling at her and Skylar did not like this. So Skylar got on Snapchat and basically made a post saying that she would pay somebody about $175 American dollars to basically set up Oliver. She said that she didn't want him really hurt. She just wanted somebody to like stab him in the hand or rob him just to teach him a lesson. Now y'all, she posted this on Snapchat and people actually responded to her and I'm guessing wanted to help her out. Skylar and other kids basically planned to lure him to something called Bugs Bottom Park and they wanted to rough him up. So Oliver ended up getting this strange message from Skylar on Snapchat, basically saying, could she meet him at Bugs Bottom Park? So Oliver starts to go to this park, you guys, and once he gets to this park, something crazy happens. Oliver is viciously attacked and he's stabbed with a samurai sword. After being attacked, his attackers then run off and Oliver tries to run home. Witnesses see him stumbling with blood all over him and they try to help him and they call police. By the time ambulance and police arrive, Oliver is pronounced dead at the scene. Oliver was just 13 years old, you guys. So this is a shocking incident which is completely unheard of in Reading. Um, this is a very quiet area. It's a suburban area on the edge of the town and typically on a Sunday afternoon when the incident happened, you'd have lots of families, people walking their dogs in this country park. It's a well-known beauty spot. It's very, very quiet and very pleasant. Well, I, I was deeply shocked by it. Yeah,